take your medicine. On today's show, I will discuss why we can't give children aspirin. As you may know, over-the-counter medication for pain and fever contain the drugs paracetamol, ibuprofen, caffeine, and aspirin. These drugs are usually safe in adults, but aspirin is an important exception. Aspirin is associated with a risk of Ray's syndrome in children and young teens. So what is Ray's syndrome? Ray's syndrome is a rare disorder that causes brain and liver damage. It is commonly seen in children, although it can happen at any age. Children who have recently had a viral infection such as measles, chickenpox or the flu that take aspirin greatly increase the risk of developing Ray syndrome. If your child has a viral infection and has a headache, please do not use aspirin. Symptoms of Ray syndrome develop quickly. They usually appear over a course of several hours. The first symptoms is usually vomiting and nausea. This is followed by irritability and aggressiveness. After this, the child may feel lethargic and may be confused, and this can then lead to seizures or falling into a coma. There is no cure for Ray's syndrome, so the symptoms are managed as they present to the treating physician. An example of this is when steroids are used to reduce the swelling in the brain. So as you can see, preventing Ray's syndrome is important. If your child has a fever or headache, it would be best to treat them with paracetamol as per correct dosing for their age group. If this medication does not help resolve the problem, then it would be best to take the child to be seen by a doctor. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's short episode and please share this video with any family or friends that you know that have young children. Please could you guys hit the like button as this will let YouTube recommend this video to others and help our channel grow. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to alert you for all new episodes. Thank you guys for joining me. Take care. Goodbye.